safety is a condition of being protected from danger. I'm at one of the industries where they manufacture mini meal to know how they ensure safety. When you enter here, when you start your work here at the industry, you have the basic safety. In case of anything like this, what should you do? So the first thing we do is we make sure that everyone should wear safety shoes. If there's a heavy instrument falling on the leg, he is going to be protected. That's one of the safety things. The other hazard which is here is that the infection of the skin. That's why we have people putting on the overalls. When they put on overalls, then they, we don't have dust going direct to the skin. And it is also part of hygiene. It is the hygienic part of it. So that if you meet someone when you're sweating, you can't uh, contaminate the meal. Then you have clean meal. In case of the fire here, someone is trained as a fire marshal who will do the bring down of the fire here. You just have to raise an alarm and make sure that people leave the plant safely. And on every position you're supposed to have an extinguisher, you need to have a sign like that one there. So when you enter a meal, you see a sign like that one, you know that that's a fire extinguisher required for this purpose. For electrical, you use carbon. You don't use water. Water it will be another bomb because you create another fire again in the in the meal. You need to have extinguishers which are up to date. And there's always the standard which is laid by the government. Every time they come through every each and every industry just to make sure that the plant is secured for every worker. No worker causing the plant with all the risks involved without having any kind of protection. So we have the ZAPS, which is the Zambia Bureau of Standards. They usually pass through every three months, they'll pass through just to do the counter check here and there, just to make sure that all the things they are in place. So we have a box here. In case of an electrocution, there's someone who is trained in this area who understand very well how to handle someone who has been electrocuted and so I tested, give him tested before we rush him to the hospital. In case of a falling, maybe someone falls down and breaks maybe his arm or what, we have a first aid box, someone is trained in that area who will handle that person before we rush him to the hospital. So all the time, all these first aid boxes are supposed to be found in the new year. We need to rush to that person, make sure that we give him first aid, before we ask that person to the, to the hospital for safety. Training workers on safety tips and rules may reduce the chances of hazards. Obed Banda reporting.